subscribe. subscribe. It's, it's free. free. What up fam? It's your girl back with a really quick video. Told you I'd come back with a video on how to set up your machine and speak to your SP404. So let's get into it. First things first, we're trying to get the, the turntables to speak to the machine, the machine to speak to the SP404, and then the SP404 to go into the audio interface so the speakers could allow us to hear what we're listening to. So first things first, I have my Audio Technica turntable. That goes... Well, first of all, I'm going to share with you what it looks like, how the setup looks like. I'm also going to put in the descriptions all of the cables that I purchased to do this, including the adapters. So you guys know I may fumble with my words, but I'm going to at least share with you what it looks like first. So this is the back of my machine. Of course, I have my power adapter. This is going into my computer, the USB port. And then I have my, this right here is going from my turntable into the machine. So this is an RCA, and then this is a uh, this is a quarter quarter inch. Can you see it? So this is coming from my turntable. Not sure if you can see, but yeah, this goes into for me the mic mic input. So boom, turntable one goes into my machine mic in. All right, and then the next steps, I have my quarter inch cables coming from my SP404. It's coming from my line in on my SP404. These are RCA cables coming from here and then going in on the outline of my machine. So going from the line in from the SP404, you see these silver RCA cables they're going into the quarter inch line out. Now that's for the machine's audio to go into the SP404, okay? The next thing is the SP404 has its own RCA line out cables. Now these cables here, they go into my audio interface, which is over here. As you can see, I have a pretty basic Scarlett Focusrite audio interface. Those two RCA cables, they were going from my SP404 out and then going into the very front of my audio interface. And then my audio interface, that plugs via USB to my computer so I can hear them on the monitors here. Alright, that's how it's physically set up and of course I have a power adapter to my SP404. Now, you also need to set it up on the computer so the computer knows what to do so let's talk about that. Alright, basically on the computer all you need to go do is go to File, Preferences, go to Audio, and under Devices, under here, boom, you're gonna choose your machine MK3. Boom. And then also under routing, you want to make sure your output is going into your, you know, your um, speakers. You can adjust it if you're having headphones, um, you can adjust them to go into the headphones. So, but we're using speakers today. That's just pretty much it. So I'll show you guys how it's working. So if I come over to, you know, play a record. So the audio you see and then you can kind of see how it's you have to make sure you have the external source on on your SP404 to hear the audio from the machine so that's why you have to press this That's pretty much it. I'm going to put a link in the description of all the cables that I've used to have this set up. Yeah. Just know that when you're doing the recording in this particular setup that the audio is going into the SP404 so you can record what's going on in the machine into the SP404. It will record on the machine but you're not going to get the SP404 effects on the machine so you want to record on the SP404 and then you can resample yourself later on put it in the machine whatever you can do whatever I just wanted to share with you guys how to get this to speak to this and then have it on the speakers so yeah.